war. War never changes. What is up, guys, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Welcome back to another episode of Victory Gaming Network. So after playing quite a few of the free-to-play games on the PlayStation 4, I decided to make a top five, uh, I wouldn't say best, but my top five favorites out of those that I've played and those that I think are most worthy for you guys to check out, whether you're just now getting a PlayStation 4 or maybe you haven't heard of these. These are the top five that I think are most worthy of you checking out. So uh, let's go ahead and get straight to it in no particular order. Okay, so coming off at number five, I have Cross Out. This is made by the same people who made War Thunder, which is another really good game. Not on this list, but Cross Out is. The best way I could describe this game is it's vehicular combat. It's very similar to, uh, I would say it's kind of like Twisted Metal meets Mad Max, honestly. Uh, it's very, very fun. Um, you just, basically, you create these really insane... Uh, <laughs> these really insane vehicles and you just you send them out against other players in uh, vehicular PvP combat they also have PvP here as well where you can do raids and things like that and honestly it's damn fun it's probably one of my favorites uh, or my most favorite out of any of these on this list um, I've had a lot of fun playing this game I've even invested money in this game and I would honestly say that this is probably one of your least pay to win games on this list um, very, very fun. Definitely worth checking out. Let's go ahead and get straight to the next one. Coming in at number four, I have DC Universe Online. Now, this one in particular, I played a lot of on PlayStation 3. Haven't played a whole lot of it on PS4 because, unfortunately, once you hit max of level 30, you have to start actually paying to play after that point. At least last time I played it, it was like that. So, uh, but anyway, regardless, it is very, very fun. Basically, uh, it's... An MMORPG set in the DC universe. Create your own character, pick your mentor. You can choose to be hero or villain, and uh, it just takes off from there. Uh, so I would say that this is similar to. Well, it's very, very team based, really. You're going to need to play with a lot of people to really get much of anything done, at least in my own experience of it. Very, very fun. Definitely worth checking out. And the character customization in this game, the, uh, the character creation system is actually really, really good. The amount of stuff that you can make uh, for your character, the amount of things you can do for when creating your character is insane. Um, when it comes to your mentors, you you know you obviously you have the the big names. You have Batman and Superman uh, for your heroes, as well as others. On the villain side, you have the Joker. So a lot of a lot to choose from. And uh, you also have, in addition to that, you also have different factions that you can actually choose to join in the game. So definitely, definitely worth checking out. A lot of fun. Another one that I have actually played quite a bit of. Next up, I have Blacklight Retribution. This is actually a phenomenal uh, MMO first-person shooter. Actually, really, really good. Um, and again, I wouldn't necessarily say this is pay-to-win either. Uh, the way this works is when you're creating your loadouts, your weapons, or things like that, you can. There's actually a, a way that you can rent items for a day with in-game money, and in-game money you acquire through completing online matches in PvP. And it's actually really, really good. I love the fact that they have that in there so you don't have people actually paying money to uh, to buy these things and then it giving them an unfair advantage or it unbalancing the game in any way. You can rent the same items that people could buy and uh, yeah, it's really, really good. In addition, in, in addition to the PvP, they also have what's called Onslaught Mode, which is very similar to uh, Call of Duty Zombies. Uh, you face off in waves of enemies and uh, basically just see how long you can survive and there is a way to actually complete it and I believe it goes up to wave 10 not very very long but it's still very a uh, very nice addition to the game and uh, this is another game I've actually played quite a bit of uh, as you can see this is actually my gameplay footage that you're watching here so uh, yeah uh, it's definitely a lot of fun Okay, now I know some of you might hate me for putting this one on the list, but Paladins, honestly, in my personal opinion, is actually not that bad. If you don't have Overwatch, which I don't, and you would like to play Overwatch, this is a good substitute for it, to be honest. 
Um, I don't have Overwatch, and uh, so this this was actually really good to me. Uh, I mean, honestly, I think compared to Overwatch, uh, you know, Overwatch is probably better. But honestly, this is these are free to play games, so Paladins gets the job done pretty well. Especially if you're like me and you don't have access to Overwatch, but you wish you did. This is a really, really good substitute. Most of your characters in the game are direct copies, kind of, really, of characters from Overwatch. But honestly, it's pretty damn good, and I highly recommend uh, trying it out if you don't have Overwatch. Okay, and last but certainly not least, I have Dreadnought. This is... Uh it was kind of surprising to me. I, I didn't know what to expect going into this game, but it's actually really, really good. A lot of fun. Uh, me and a buddy of mine, Mark, actually played this, and uh, it's actually really, really fun. Uh, I don't, I, I don't know what to categorize it as. <laughs> Same with Crossout. I really don't know what to categorize that either. But uh, basically, you take command of these big starships, and uh, you just send them off in PvP, and then they also have PvE, which is kind of survival. Um, I would say it's simil It's kind of similar, or at least semi-similar, to World of Tanks, in a sense. Uh, you basically, you with each amount of experience and money you buy, you get in that you acquire in the game, you can actually upgrade to new warship classes and things like that. And it's actually a lot of fun. Um, getting control of your ship takes a little bit, a little bit to uh, to kind of get used to. Um, but once you get a, once you get used to controlling your ship and things like that, it's actually a lot of fun. And uh, I highly recommend checking it out. It's currently still in early access, as far as to my knowledge. Um, but yeah, it's it's definitely worth checking out. So that will basically that'll do it. Um, that is my top five list of my uh, my personal favorites of the free to play games available on PlayStation Four. Uh, I hope you guys agreed with this list. If not, feel free to comment down below. Let me know what your guys' lists were, and uh, I will see you guys on the next episode. Until then. Thanks for watching and take care.